Hello everybody, it's Violet Grant from German Art Papery here. Um, I was just playing around with some of these on the weekend and I thought I might just turn on the camera and bring you along and show you what I'm up to. Um, firstly, I have these uh, listed. These are beautiful pictures that I have listed as stickers in my German Art Papery shop on Etsy. And what I've done is I've printed some up Instead of actually cutting them out of my cutting machine, I've just cut them into little squares. Uh, they're just the beautiful Art Nouveau women. And I've got these other ones here, which is the blue. I oh, know this is the pink from the pink background. Uh, the pink is around this area here, around the frame. And the ladies that are on them are usually from either the pink or the blue backgrounds. And they're also listed on my Etsy. So these have been cut out with a cutting machine. And these have just been cut out into squares by me. And I think I need to finish that one off. But what I thought I would do is just bring you on and show you what you can do with these. Now, these I've printed onto sticker paper so that they're perfect for using as decoupage. And what I have in mind is something like a Christmas bauble, which is a flat bauble, which I will paint and just pop that in the center of the bauble and put some uh, moldings around the edges of them. Uh, that's just my thoughts at the moment, um, but they can be used for a number of other things. And But I thought instead of just keeping the plain pictures, which are, I'll just find one here. The plain pictures are, are just the, the women in the frame and they've had nothing done to them. They're just purely on sticker paper. And so what I've done is I've actually varnished them, not that one, but this one. <laughs> I've varnished them and it kind of deepens the hues of each of the um, designs and um, brings just makes it pop more than it, it does when it's simply printed. But what I've done is I've, I've put a, a gold frame around with my trusty little brush here, that one there, which is, uh, and you don't have to do this, but I'm just saying this is what I've done. I can't even see what that is. It's probably a number, maybe a, a zero brush. It's a liner brush. What I've done is I've just put some gold around the edge, even though they're already framed they don't really pop out as much as I'd like them to for the purpose that I'm going to be using them for. So I've put the gold frame around it and then I've varnished it once that's dry. I've just used a, um, this is the one I've used here, the Jo Sonia satin varnish. So I've used that one for this. I usually use matte, but I didn't have any matte left. <laughs> and the satin's fine um, because it doesn't have a huge sheen on it. And then waited for the varnish to dry. Um, put another coat on just to be sure that I've covered the photo well or the picture well. And because I'm using an Epson printer, the ink didn't run. I got a little bit of smearing of colour on some of them, but generally speaking, they didn't run. So when I varnished them, the, the colours really stayed together very nicely. And um, so I put the two layers, I put the gold around the edge, I put the two layers of varnish on. And then what I've done is I've used a a decor crackle, which is a uh, deco art rather, which is the one step crackle. Now, there are many of these available on the market, you don't have to use this one. Uh, Joe Sonia actually put out one, which is a brilliant one. I've just run out, <laughs> so I'm using up all my all my art uh, supplies at the moment because I've got oh, such an, a huge amount of art supplies that I really need to work, work through. But um, so what I've done is I've put one layer of the, the crackle over the top of the varnish. Now, initially, I didn't do that. I put it over just over the picture itself. And because it's a surface cracking crackle, uh, it doesn't need anything under it to crack. It's self cracking. So you don't need paint or you don't need varnish. Um, but I, I used the varnish because what I wanted to do is get a bigger crack in each of the pictures. Now, the first one that I did was this one here. And so you can see there's there's no 
uh, varnish or anything underneath this one it's just simply the crackle on top and I've gone a little bit dark with the color that I've put into the crackle just to bring the the crackle out um, so what I've done is I've I've put the picture on I've stuck it down onto a little bit of um, gauze and then I've put some moldings around the side of it now instead of doing um, just the gold what I used is a stylus to just do some little dots around not necessary and I think I'm not going to go that route again but the moldings I already had ready <laughs> and I've done a um, video on that before so you probably don't need me to show you how to do it um, so yeah what I've done is I've just put the moldings around the edge and just made a little journal card cover that's probably going to be a mini journal I'll put some paper in there but um, what I'm doing is I'm just organizing my ephemera stash and getting some more stuff going so that's why I've done it on on the card and that's just a, a normal journal card that's been Parisian stained and uh, that'll go in a journal sometime in the near future but um, the other one that I did was just on that beautiful um, paper that is handmade paper that I got sent from France many well yeah probably I don't know more than five years ago um, and the person didn't have any of this left so this is the last bit and I've got a bit of a wad but I I don't have any more so I'm using it sparingly but I've just popped another one on with a different different moldings around it and these all go onto some kind of ephemera when I get to it so I'm just really as I said stacking up on my ephemera or storing up rather so I've done a few of those these are just they different moldings around the edges but you can see they make a beautiful little picture on on that and you know even if you were to pop that in a frame that would look really beautiful and be really gorgeous gift to give somebody um so yeah these are my um Art nouveau women that are on my etsy site so i thought what i would do is just show you what i've been up to this morning i've uh, done the same system i've put the varnish on uh, two coats then I've actually put the crackle on top waited for it to dry and crack and I'll just see if I can show you one that I haven't done yet um, that's not a easy to see one you might might be able to see the cracks in that if I bend it it's, she's got some cracks all around I put the crackle all over as you can see around the edges I haven't cut these out yet and I will cut them out eventually but I just thought I'd get them all ready for my ephemera stash um, so all I've done is I've used just a, a bit of a ratty round brush and I've gone over the top with gold paint that I've darkened. I'm just going to grab a, a baby wipe because I don't want a, a dirty wipe to put on it. I want to show you how it comes off so easily. I use a baby wipe because it really takes off all the sur surface paint. What I don't want is it to remove all the cracks and um, so I'll just show you. I've, I've actually painted over this one and you can probably see some of the some of the cracks in there so I put it up and what I want to do is take off that surface paint this has been sitting here for a while actually I've just let it go while I'm organizing myself <laughs> so you can see I've taken off all the surface and what you're left with is those beautiful fine little cracks inside this beautiful lady so all around here is cracks it just gives it an aged effect and so yeah initially I did it with some dark paint some burnt umber and it just looked oh, too much which is what I did on this one here you can see those cracks are a little bit darker so I've got the burnt umber underneath and when I changed my mind I just went over top of it with some of the gold paint it's a, a just an old gold um, this one here from Josonia it's a rich gold and what I did was I just actually went over um, the burnt umber underneath with the gold and it lightened it up a little bit and I'm very happy with the way that looks um, on these frames what I did was um, I've got some pale gold which is this one here it's one of my older tubes pale gold and I just 
did a little bit of, I'll put it down so I'm not bending around. I just did a little bit of embellishment around the edges with the with the gold paint just to pop it out a little bit. Um, they are really quite lovely without doing that, but I just wanted to brighten it up a bit. So I've put some pale gold onto this gorgeous rich gold colour. Uh, before I varnished it all, again, two coats of varnish on top and then the crackle. You probably don't need any coats of varnish, but what I found is if I don't use the varnish, I'll just grab one of these little ladies here, you can see the difference in the, the size of the cracks are quite a lot larger here. And the size of these ones is really quite fine and and small. Now that's lovely, but what I was looking for was more this type of look. So I thought putting a couple of layers of varnish underneath might help bring that out and make the cracks a little bit bigger. Now I love this um, crackle varnish. I like the one that I'm using, um, which is the Deco Art One Step Crackle. Uh, this is not a sandwich crackle. The sandwich crackle is when you need a base layer, then you put the crackle medium down, then you put another layer on top. So this is, the crackle is the sandwich in the middle, if you like, the filling of the sandwich, which pulls the, the tension of the bottom layer, having the crackle layer on top, and then the paint layer pulls against each other. So that's what forms the cracks. But with this one, it's just a surface cracking uh, crackle. Um, crackle varnish, uh, what else would you call it? A crackle cure, which is um, probably the French word <laughs> for crackle <laughs> and uh, or crackle year. And um, so you can get that in the Joe Sonia brand, it's brilliant. I've tried it over many years. I used to put it on a lot of my painted canvases uh, when I wanted a bit of a crackle on it. So yeah, just thought I'd bring you along, just show you what I'm up to and um, yeah, quite happy with some of the way that these turned out. You can see the gorgeous bits of gold in there, but there's a little bit of darkness to it because what I did was I mixed the gold with some raw umber and darkened the gold so it's not very bright or light. It's got this nice little darkness about it so you can see the crackle comes up. I think I think that was all, but I just want to show you on one that I haven't done. This one's got this crackle varnish on it, so what I'll do is I'll just quickly show you, and you probably already know how to do this, but I'm just going again. So I've just loaded the brush up with the paint, and I'm brushing it into the cracks. You'll probably see it easier on the dark because it's a gold. It'll pop out on the dark background. But I didn't want the face to be too marred by the cracks. I wanted it to crack, but not have too much um, so that it makes her look ugly. Because she's certainly not ugly. And you can do this on any surface. It doesn't have to be women. But I like the idea of vintage women. And um, even though these are Art Nouveau style, um, they're certainly, they'll fit in nicely with my vintage I think I might have wiped it off too much there, but you can, I might put a little bit more on her face. Got a little bit in there. I don't want it to be missed. Yeah, as I said earlier, you can use these in your journals. You can pop them on a something like a, um, a bookmark if you're into bookmarks. I like to put a few bookmarks in my journals. Uh, just so that they're placeholders and um, yeah so that's that's oh, I need to wipe her off a bit more baby wipes are brilliant <laughs> you don't have to use baby wipes you can just simply use uh, paper toweling or something like that just to wipe it off and um, so yeah there you have that gorgeous crackle finish on there and I'm going to probably make another video to show you what I'm going to do with these. I just haven't decided thoroughly whether I'm going to make some more Christmas decorations or not. Um, my daughter said, Mum, you didn't give me a Christmas decoration this year because I like to give them to my family. I'll give them one each 
each Christmas to put on their tree, I usually make some kind of vintage masterpiece for them. <laughs> and um, and last year I made, oh my goodness, I think I made a dozen and I put them all on my tree because <laughs> they're all, uh, they had a bit of a, a pale pink vintage vibe. So they work in well with my pink tree. Oh, my tree's green, but I like to decorate it pink with light pink lace and uh, pink baubles and yeah, just beautiful stuff. So this year I may do a uh, Art Nouveau uh, vibe, or I might not. These ones here are, are certainly vintage, and so these ones might get the gig, I think, because I think I like the shape of this frame as well. And if you go on my Etsy and have a look, you can actually see a variety of these. What I've done is I've designed a whole pile of... Um, like vintage tags so that they're in a tag shape all you need to do is print them up and cut them out and they're pretty pretty easy but you could do the same with those tags you could just varnish over them and then you could put the crackle over them and do what I've done here with the gold paint and they will certainly look more vintage than they are they are very vintage looking at the moment um, some of them have a pink background, some have a blue, a very pale, and some of them have a beige background, but they're gorgeous tags, and the tag would already be ready, <laughs> ready made. All you need to do is print it up onto card, because I, I do have um, their printables, downloaded, downloadable printables, <laughs> and uh, so all you need to do is just download them, I've kept the price down low. They took me ages to make, but I've kept the price down low so that they're accessible to everybody. And all you need to do is print it up onto card, not this one, but they're the shape of a, a tag, a normal tag. And they're 12 and a half centimetres by 8 centimetres, so they're a good size tag. And I put all the JPEGs with them so that they can be printed up even to A4 size if you wanted. Um, giant giant tags I don't know why you would but they're there and available for that um but yeah what I was thinking was I might do a whole set of those and put them on my Christmas tree this year as well because they're just gorgeous and they'll work in with the vintage vibe that I have on my tree so yeah there you have it that's that's all I was really wanting to show you I might just go over one more just just so that you've got it here's another one and um Again, I like the darker, richer gold um, because it does bring out the background, of, particularly around the face. I want it to, to show. You can see it's no rhyme or reason to my painting style here. And I'm really creaming my brush. I don't normally abuse my brushes like this, but this is a really old brush and um, it's used for this purpose. <laughs> so... Just getting into all the cracks you can see on on the darker section is probably more easier to see this lady's a little bit darker in her complexion than the other ladies so yeah and then just you don't have to wait for it to dry you can wait for it to dry but the top surface will be a little bit more tricky to remove if you do so there you go that's quite Quite beautiful, I think, in the cracks there. All right, so let me know what you think. Um, I know it's a pretty simple thing, but a lot of the time I do so much creating and I think, why didn't I just show people how to do that? Just in case you might be a person on here who's never done anything like this before and it might be interesting to you. So I hope you found it interesting. And if you have any questions, just leave me a comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'm gonna try and be better at videos i just getting the time and remembering to start uh, filming what i'm doing because i i create in my workshop every day i just don't i don't think to put it on video which i probably should because i see a lot of stuff on there i think oh yeah yes i've done that oh yeah i've done that but i think why am i not showing people what i'm doing so here you go this is what i've done and i will come back and show you what I'm doing to use these um, but you can put them on cards you can put them on Christmas baubles you can just do what I've done here with this bit of paper you can put it in a frame yeah just so many things you can do 
just using these lovely designs and the fact that they're stickers on the back um, after you cut them around you'll get that beautiful shape um, and you just stick them down you don't even have to use glue um, I didn't use glue particularly even though I think oh, you know what if it comes loose from the paper because this paper is rough and it might lift up but having put the moldings on the side pretty much um, gave me confidence that these are not going to lift up okay so that's the end of that and thank you for watching